Good morning, John Hughes here. Happy Thrifty Thursday. Welcome to John's Morning Focus where we talk about different aspects of your money, way to save money, and some other important areas to focus on towards your goals. So, this morning I've got some tips that will help you to save money, save the environment, and ultimately help you drastically towards your financial goals. Tip number one is don't buy bottled water. Bottled water is silly. It basically comes from somebody else's tap. And one of those 24 packs of little bottles is about $4. And if you drink six of them throughout the day, because you should have at least half your body weight in water every day, and that would be about $1.50 a day. And I can use my stainless steel cup or fill up an old bottle or carry a, a you know an old jug with me and save quite a bit of money. $1.50 a day over the whole year is over $500 of water that I won't spend buying out in the street. Uh, you should definitely drink water instead of Cokes and juices and things like that, simply because it's clearly better for your, your body. That will ultimately have financial ramifications too. But everywhere you go, if you've got a bottle or some sort of container with you, you can fill it up. Every supermarket and office and and what have you has usually real close to the bathroom water fountains fill it up it's almost a no-brainer it's silly I talked to a friend of mine who owns a 7-eleven and I, I said you know what are some of the biggest money makers here what's this whole business like and he said you know it's not the gas it's not the chips it's not the cigarettes what it is is if he could get rid of everything and just have bottled water that is his biggest money maker so there you go tip number one Bottle your own water and just keep a container of some kind with you so you can fill it up wherever you go and drink lots of it. About half your body weight or more if you're thirsty. Okay, great. Tip number two. This one really surprised me. And it is this. Oh, excuse me for a second. How do we save the environment? Well, if we're not buying a bunch of bottles of water and throwing away that plastic every day, then we won't have 20, 30, 40 pounds of wasted plastic that'll filter into the environment throughout the year so back to you know that's that's tip number one tip number two is this amazed me I go to the gym just about every day and uh, I have a whole bunch of different branches of my gym that I can visit so wherever I might be I'll go usually I go to the one by my work I get up here early and I take my shower there this is the interesting thing now I was having a conversation with a buddy the other day and he was saying yeah I used to uh, when I was you know, young and single, I would just always take my showers at the gym because they had shampoo and razors and, and I could shave there and soap. And I thought, okay, that's, that's definitely a way to save some money. But I take my shower there really more of a matter of convenience without even thinking about it because I get up early in the morning and I beat all the traffic so I can get up there, get that out of the way. I enjoy it thoroughly. I'm energized, ready to go. And I take a shorter period of time to get to up near my office in the morning to go to the gym so my car is not running for about half an hour of savings of time that it would take me if traffic were full bore. So that's my tip for saving the environment by getting to the gym and driving there during an off hour time. But taking my shower there, this is the part that impressed me. I did some studies and said, what does a 10 minute shower cost? Well, if you really think about it, there's a lot of water, and there's the electricity to heat that water. And the information that I found was out of Minnesota. The average 10 minute shower in Minnesota costs $1.94. Wow, so if I go to the gym, let's say 350 days a year, times almost $2 is $700 of savings nearly by not taking my shower at home, but rather at the gym. Plus I'm ready and look so wonderful before I head on into the office. Okay, so, there you go. Tip number two, join a gym because it's good for you for a whole lot of reasons. Take your shower there. Go in off hours so your traffic time is less and you save the environment by not spending gas. Tip number three, probably one of the most important with finance. Here we've, we've saved several thousand dollars if you go back and look at all the Thrifty Thursdays that we put out. But most important towards your bigger goals is you got to get yourself educated. And, and reading books, interviewing people who have money, and uh, who can give you the secrets of how to do it yourself. Hugely important. 
Ignorance is not bliss. It can be devastating to not know important things. And they might be simple things that little by little compound over time. Like Einstein told us the greatest wonder of the world is the power of compound interest. Simply that if you put away little by little and it grows and the interest grows and so on and it it's an exponential growth. Okay, so important books to read. An old classic, absolutely, I highly recommend, just to kind of put everything in perspective, is called The Richest Man in Babylon. And that basically talks about paying yourself first off of every check, make sure you're putting money away into your investments and you don't touch it and you let it grow. And as it grows, it'll compound. Okay, a more recent one, actually probably 15 years old by now, 10 to 15, is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Fantastic book. A more recent two that I'm reading now is Money, Mastering the Game by Tony Robbins where he interviewed 50 of the wealthiest people and gleaned from them their secrets of how they for, you know, form their wealth and things that we can do on a daily basis, from where we should put our money. And now I've watched another gentleman with a lot of his podcasts. I've heard him spoken of numerous times. So I am now reading the book by Ramit Sethi called I Will Teach You To Be Rich. The bottom line is I'm feeding my mind with new information that I can put in practice so that I will not be ignorant of opportunities as they come by. So there you go. Three ways to save money, save the environment, and most important, put you on the proper path towards reaching your financial goals. I thank you very much for letting me be part of your success. I ask you to please share this video and subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell icon to get notifications when new videos come out. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks very much. Signing off.